Okay, so welcome back to this next video in which we are discussing the tracheobronchial tree. So just before we uh, turn our attention to uh, the left side of the bronchial tree, okay, so the divisions of this left bronchus, I just want to give you some more terminology. Okay, so there's, a, uh, there's some important nomenclature which is uh, regarding the different levels of bronchus, okay, or bronchi. So firstly, there is something known as a primary bronchi. Now, when people talk about primary bronchi, they mean the right bronchus and the left bronchus. So this big, huge division uh, here, the two major divisions of the carina here, uh, those are the only two primary bronchi. So this and this are the primary bronchi. Okay, you then have what are known as the secondary bronchi. Now, the secondary bronchi are the bronchi... Uh, which are supplying uh, the individual lobes, okay? So, we have this here, which is supplying the upper lobe and splits into three more bronchi, but this portion here, before it splits into these three uh, separate portions, this was supplying a whole lobe. This was going to go to the upper lobe. So, this um, was a secondary bronchus, okay? In addition, this branch here, which was supplying the whole of the middle lobe, that's a secondary bronchus. This branch then here, from the, that here on downwards, uh, which is supplying the whole of the lower lobe, that would be another secondary bronchus, okay? So, secondary bronchi supply, um, supply the um, whole lobes. What we have now looked at, these 10 separate branches that we've eventually divided it into, that was finally the tertiary bronchi. So these are the 10 tertiary bronchi of uh, the right lung. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll look at the same thing for uh, the left lung. Okay, so let's turn over the page. So let's start by drawing off, drawing out the left bronchus here again. So here comes the right bronchus here. Okay, and now we'll have the left bronchus here coming off the carina and the trachea above, okay. So, we now want to study what's it going to divide into. So, the first thing to discuss is the fact that uh, the uh, left lung, unlike the right lung, only has two lobes. It has this upper lobe and then it has this lower lobe. And again, the lower lobe is far bigger than you would think. Again, if you actually stick your finger into this oblique fissure here, it would go like you'd originally put your hand in, but then you'd have to follow around like that very quickly. So you'd have a large portion that isn't actually visible, which is below uh, what we're thinking is the upper lobe, but is actually underneath here, there will be portions of the lower lobe, basically. Okay, so let's look at the divisions. Okay, so firstly, it's going to split into the two secondary bronchi. So at the moment, we're on the level of the primary bronchus because we're looking at the left main bronchus here. Okay, so this is the left bronchus. Now it's going to split into the secondary bronchus, bronchi rather. Okay, so you've got one which is going to supply uh, the upper lobe, and then one which is going to go down and supply the lower lobe. So these are the two secondary bronchi. Okay, now what's going to happen then is that this one which is supplying the upper lobe here is going to split into two separate portions, okay, like so, okay, and this is kind of analogous to when we looked at the right bronchial tree, where we saw uh, that we had a portion that was supplying the middle lobe and a portion that was supplying the upper lobe. This is kind of the bit that would supply the upper lobe. And this is kind of like the bit that would supply the middle lobe. Of course, they're fused together to make one massive super upper lobe. Uh, so all of these are going to supply the upper lobe. But this one here supplies a specific portion of uh, the upper lobe known as the lingula. So let me just show you where the lingula would be. So this sort of portion here, this is what would be called the lingula down here. So this portion that sort of um, curves out around the cardiac notch here. This is what you would refer to as the lingula. And that's the portion that kind of um, 
kind of takes the place of the middle lobe which is missing on this one here uh, and when you look at the bronchial tree you can see that it kind of takes the place of the middle lobe okay so if you like you could view this as having three lobes the upper lobe the lingula and the lower lobe but the lingula strictly speaking is part of the uh, upper lobe okay right so this portion here is going to go and supply the lingula, basically, whilst this portion will supply the main portion of the upper lobe. Okay, so let's start off uh, with the uh, divisions of this main portion here that's going off to supply the main bulk of the upper lobe. Okay, so it's basically just like we saw on the right side. You're going to have one branch which is going to go upwards here, and two branches down here which are going to remain level, one which is going to go forwards, the anterior branch, and one which is going to go uh, backwards, the posterior branch. Okay, so this going backwards over here, this is the posterior bronchus, okay, and we're now looking at the level of the tertiary bronchi. Okay, so this is the posterior bronchus, and again you should clarify by saying the posterior bronchus of the left lung now. Okay, and the portion going forwards here this is what is known as the anterior bronchus and again you would clarify anterior bronchus of the left lung and it will supply the uh, front of the uh, upper lobe of the left lung and again in exactly the same fashion as we named uh, this on the right side this is the apical bronchus of the left lung the one that goes up to the right tip of the lung which is the apical portion of the lung Okay, so apical bronchus. Right, so now let's look at this other portion of the um, bronchus which was supplying the upper lobe when it divided. Okay, so this then splits into two portions. Okay, like so. A superior bronchus which supplies the upper portion of the lingula and an inferior bronchus which supplies uh, the lower portion of the lingula. So these names are new. We haven't seen a bronchus that was called the superior and inferior bronchus yet. Okay, so uh, these don't need the clarification, but of course it would be still good practice to put um, superior bronchus of the left lung and also inferior bronchus of the left lung. Okay, just so that everyone's nice and clear with what, what you're talking about. Okay, so the inferior bronchus. Right. Now let's turn our attention to this uh, division which is going to supply the lower lobe. And again, it's going to be just like we saw in um, the right side, basically, because what's going to first happen is you're going to get a little division that comes off from behind, basically. So I will draw this like so, with a hole coming out the back and then a, uh, a bronchus coming off. Okay, so this is going to supply the top of the lower lobe. Okay, and this is what's known as the apical bronchus. And again, the name clashes. We've now had four bronchi named the apical bronchus. So we need to say of the lower lobe. And also it would be good to clarify that we're talking about the left lung. So apical bronchus of the lower lobe of the left lung. Okay, uh, but I won't quite go as far to write that. Okay, then what's going to happen is the rest of this great uh, bronchus here that's supplying the lower lobe is going to divide into four and again they're going to go in all directions possible so one's going to come forwards one's going to go back one's going to go to laterally one's going to go immediately so let's start with the one that's going immediately here okay then one will go laterally here okay one will come forward here and then one will go backwards here. Okay, so let's label these up. So this is the lateral bronchus, and this time you don't actually need to put that this is the lateral bronchus of the lower lobe. If you just put lateral bronchus of the left lung, there's only one lateral bronchus of the left lung now, uh, but because bef these two are now named superior and inferior bronchi. Uh, rather than uh, lateral bronchus. However, they are uh, occasionally called um, lateral basal bronchi, and I should have 
um, actually talked about this maybe a little uh, in the um, right side as well. So often you will hear these called the lateral basal bronchus. So rather than putting of the lower lobe, maybe I'll put basal in there now to show this other notation that you can use. So this is the lateral basal bronchus. Okay, and this here, this would then uh, come forward, so this would be the anterior basal bronchus. Okay, so anterior basal bronchus, and again, you uh, clarify of the left lung. Okay, and then going backwards here, this is the posterior basal bronchus. Okay, posterior basal bronchus, and then coming inwards, uh, you then have the medial basal bronchus. Okay, so these are the four final divisions of um, the uh, branch that is supplying the lower lobe. Okay, so the medial basal bronchus. Okay, so again, there is this alternative notation. You can either call them just the anterior bronchus and then put of the lower lobe, or you can put anterior basal bronchus to distinguish it from the anterior bronchus, which we have up here. Okay. So, that's a notation that again can be used on the right side as well. So when we were uh, looking at these divisions down here, you could have called this the apical uh, bronchus of the lower lobe, and then all of these would have been the um, medial um, a a basal bronchus, the anterior basal bronchus, the posterior basal bronchus, and the lateral basal bronchus. Okay, uh, so that concludes our discussion of the tracheobronchial uh, tree.